Now let's look at R2. Let's look at the per base sequence quality. If you check it compared to R1, we have um, this observation where um, some of the bases, okay, they have a low quality. So you can see that um, some of the box and risk plots come to this side here, which indicates low quality. And we also have some here. Okay, this observation is not surprising. For Illumina reads, the quality normally drops at the end. And that is why we have this observation. So what we can do is to perform quality trimming. We will do this to remove the um, low quality ends of the reads. So that's what we are going to do next. So we'll go back to Galaxy. So we are going to trim the reads. So let's check the reads that we are going to trim. We are going to trim these ones. The P7741R2 and then P7741R1. Okay, so we are going to trim and then the trimmed reads are what we are going to use for the de novo assembly. So let's trim. So for the trim, we are going to use circle. So I will search for circle here. And then it comes up. So I'll just select it. And then when I come to this side, where we have single end or paired end reads, I'll select paired end, two separate input files. And then when I come here, it's asking for paired end forward strand fast reads. So I'll select the P7741 underscore R1. And then when you come to the reverse strand, P7741 underscore R2. I will leave everything as it is. With the quality threshold, you can increase it as well, but I will leave it. Length, you can increase, but I will leave it with the default settings. And then I will execute this. So I will click on execute and then trimming will start. So let's do that. So when you click on execute and uh, you have some information here telling you the output files. So uh, these are the names that will be given to the output files. Okay, so that's about it. Now we can see that the jobs are running. So we have to wait for SQL to complete its work. Okay, trimming has been done. And so we can see the output files here. We are going to rename the output files. I am interested in the forward and then the reverse um, strands, okay? Not the singletons. Okay, so let me just explain. So what SQL does is that it performs the trimming and produces three outputs. So we have the paired and forward strands and then the uh, paired and reverse strand. And we also have singletons. So the singletons are reads that do not have mid pairs. Okay, so singletons will, will come from both forward and the reverse. So if you have reads in the forward uh, without mid pairs in the reverse, that is a singleton. So it's push here. If you have reads in the reverse without mid pairs in the forward, it's also push the singleton. So that's about it. But I am interested in the forward and the reverse strands. Okay, so that's what I'll use for the general assembly.